thumbnail you guys saw contained the famous picture of John Carlos and Tommy Smith at the 1968 Olympics. Following the slow progress in civil rights and the assassination of Martin Luther King Jr. earlier in the year, Smith and Carlos had felt it necessary to show the world what they stood for and put their fists up during the playing of the national anthem. This story is pretty interesting when you find out they were later suspended from the games after an ultimatum of them or the whole U.S. track team being suspended. While that story is thought-provoking and people should definitely know it, as a matter of race in regard to this year's Olympics, it doesn't belong. Everything in society seems to be politicized with a racial lens. This year I've seen mad reference to race as it relates to the competitors in this year's Olympics. Comments like hashtag black girl magic with pictures of the black female competitors. Or perhaps Shakari Richardson is getting negative press because she's black. Who cares? Who cares what the athletes' races are? The only thing I care about is if they can perform. When they put the medal counts up throughout the duration of the Olympics, it's not by race, but by country. The Olympics are one event where I throw aside my beliefs that each American should think independently. My general feeling during the Olympics is that Americans should put aside differences between individuals and put at the forethought one goal. Simply put, to whip all the other countries' asses. That's it. What in the world does black girl magic have to do with the Olympics? I want you guys to think back over the last 20 years of the Olympics. In sprinting events like the 100, the 200, the 400, and to a lesser extent, uh, the 4x1 and the 4x4, when have you seen a white person or a white team disregarding Russia and the whole doping fiasco they have? In the last 20 years, when is the last time you've seen a white person or a white team in the female competitions win? It's only happened once. In the 04 Olympics, I am totally going to chop up her name. I apologize. Yulia Nestorenko won gold with a time of 10.93. Considering she's the only white girl to win in the last 20 years, how is this year's all-black dominated cast significant? It's not. Speaking of the 04 Olympics, growing up and to this day, Allison Felix has been my favorite Olympian. I've watched her since her first Olympics in Athens in 04. This year, before the first 400 meter race of the trials, I was geeked up talking to my family about her having another opportunity to make an Olympic team. I know this is going to sound shocking, but I've never thought about Allison as being black. I know she is black, I just never thought about it. I've only ever thought about her being a professional and talented in her craft. Why? because being black didn't help her win. In regard to Shakari Richardson, I don't think people are being negative because she's black. I think it's because she appears to be a bit brash, cocky, and arrogant. Of all the other black athletes primed to win a medal, are they all getting the same negativity? No, that being said, she's dope. She ran the fastest American time this year and the second fastest world time for a female. However you feel about her attitude, she's fun to watch. And while that thought that some people may be turned off by her, again, who cares? We're trying to bring home as many medals as possible. So chill out and enjoy the event.